You know, so knowing what you know about glyphosate and its impact on other crops, I'm curious, uh, are you, you're now more concerned about how Roundup Ready alfalfa will impact dairy herds, cattle, and hogs in the U.S.? If this organism is associated with, with alfalfa after glyphosate application, like it is with the corn and the soybeans, mm -hmm. uh, that one I'm, I would express a very serious concern. When you take our number one forage crop mm -hmm. and you place it in any kind of jeopardy, we have a tremendous impact on the sustainability of our animal production. Because with alfalfa as a perennial crop, open pollinated uh, with an insect vector, the bee is a vector for the pollen, that in five years you won't have anything except Roundup Ready alfalfa. Mm -hmm. There's no, no way that you can have any coexistence unless it defies all of the epidemiological data that, we, that we've accumulated for 100 years on plant diseases. There's no way to maintain uh, a non-Roundup Ready uh, population of alfalfa. Knowing what you know and, and knowing the science so far, what you, what you understand, you know, what advice would you give to President Obama and Secretary Vilsack? in terms of moving forward with um, the, the, the recent approvals of Roundup Ready um, alfalfa and sugar beets, would you advise them to hold off? Well, I put it in my letter, uh, a request that they would delay any decision until we had the answers that I feel are, are very critical and establish a need. Why, uh, why add another, uh, or why continue to abuse a system that we can all already see is badly abused. Mm -hmm. But certainly uh, to delay any decision on, on planting until uh, the relationship both from a nutrition, which is rarely analyzed, and there's no question it's that the Roundup Ready isn't substantially the same as the non-Roundup Ready. Uh, it's limited data, but the data, all the data that's there says it isn't. Mm -hmm. And certainly with this new organism, it puts it in a different category all by itself. I'd really hope that there would have been a delay and, and that there would have been the resources allocated then to answer the questions that we've talked about. And to get a delay until we could get those answers to, to verify that we're not going to further increase the severity of, of this organism as it impacts in the animal industry, but then also to get that relationship for alfalfa production, because we have a couple of new alfalfa diseases that we're struggling with. What happens then on your number one forage crop, if we see the same predisposition either to this new organism that makes it uh, a hazard to animal production. Can we afford to just open the floodgates wide open before we have the answers? What's the urgency?